Galactic here for the Common Game. Today we're going to unbox some Timeless Wisdom, the Ikoria Commander 2020 deck. So let's uh, let's get cracking. Lots of packaging. Cool, they're all, all different colors. They match the deck box. Uh, you know, just an idea, wizards. Um, oh, this is cool and all. Yeah, you did make it big enough for a sleeve deck, but not tall enough. Um, curious. Run a poll with your commander players and see how much would we be willing to pay more for an actual ultra pro hard deck box it ain't got to be one of them 30 dollar boxes you know but just a an actual you know an ultra pro deck box permanent deck box maybe maybe even with the matching sleeves okie dokie so we have got uh, Gabby Nest Warden uh, is the face card. So let's get this right here. Let me get another box. This one is showing some wear, isn't it? We have got Gabby. Now, Gabby is our, this is a blue, red, white, uh, Jess guy. Uh, you may pay zero rather than pay the cycling cost of the first card you cycle each turn. When you draw your second card each turn, you get a dinosaur cat. Well, that's cool. So, the other night when we played, uh, my buddy Danny played this deck. And I can tell you, he drew some dang cards, man. He drew some cards. Uh, so, if you like drawing cards, this is your deck. Akeem, the Soaring Wind, is a 3-4 Flying Bird, Dinosaur. Whenever you create one or more tokens the first time each turn... Oh, so it actually works well with the previous commander. Tokens you control. And it's different enough to where you would want to build a different deck. That's cool. Then we have Ballin. Or, I'm sorry, Brawlin. Sky Shark Rider. Partners with Shuby. Whenever you discard a card, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Ballin. And it deals 1 damage to each card. Whenever you discard a card. Cycling discards, by the way. Uh, target shark gains trample. I don't know if this is my favorite card. Uh, and to be honest with you, it's got nothing to do with the text on the card. It's a flying shark. And there's, I, I can't think of anything that's more terrifying. You know, the only thing that gives me comfort is that sharks, you know, are kind of confined to the water. But, uh, ooh, anyway. 5-mana 3-3, three, three, which I had, apparently I had thought this was bigger. Uh, but it partners with Ballin. And whenever you draw a card, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Shuby. And I got to turn my alarms down. Because apparently that was my wake-up alarm. And I'm going to have another one here before too long. Uh, I hope I actually talked over it without the, uh, uh, you know. Anyway, so you draw a card, you put a counter on it, and you gain a life. I like it. I like it a whole lot. Then we have these adorable little dinosaur cat tokens. I mean, that is that not disturbingly adorable? Got a bunch of those. Some of them have... Uh, the bird on the back, uh, some spirit with some treasure. Oh, what is that? That's an elemental, flying elemental. There's a non flying elemental. That's a flying haste insect. I wonder what could be making that. Human soldier. We have an Ash Barons, Azorus Chancery, Boris Garrison, Command Tower. 
cycle lands, you know, the desert of the fervent, of the mindful, of the true, drifting meadow, forgotten cave. Love to see those in this style deck. Uh, that's something that I would do, you know, lonely sandbar. Uh, is it boiler works, myriad landscape, mystic monastery, reliquary tower, remote isle, secluded step, smoldering crater. Heck yeah. Temple of the false god. One, two, three, four, five islands. One, two, three mountains. Cryptic trilobite. Now, I think I actually died to this card. I think Danny killed me with this card. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure of it. So, is there a bank here? Uh, double X. You get X11 counters. You can remove a counter to get double colorless. But you can only spend it to activate abilities. And then for one mana, you put a counter on it. So... It seems like kind of a deal. If you have a lot of abilities, you can spend one. Essentially, one and tap to make two. Okay. Dismantling Wave. See, I when I saw this, uh, or when I heard the name, I could have swore that we already had this card, but it's new. Uh, yeah. When you cycle it, go boom. Uh, Herald of the Forgotten. Crystalline Resonance. Whenever you cycle, you may have it become a copy of another permanent. Huh. Ethereal Forager. Here's the card of the, of the day. Fierce Guardianship. Now, this one, uh, don't know when you're seeing this. I think as of right now, it's just a shade over 30 bucks, just this one card. Um, I guess any time a counter spell has an alternate cost that doesn't involve mana, it's going to be ridiculously expensive. Now, y'all know I'm not the finance guy, but I do have a little bit of logic. And my logic here is, this is not that reprintable outside of a commander product. Because it references the commander. So we're not going to get this in a core set. Uh, they don't do dual decks anymore, not that those would matter. Uh, we could, in theory, get this in another Commander product. But I don't think so. I think this is the Teferi protection of the set. Um, I believe it's going to climb so high so fast that they're going to be hesitant to reprint it short of a Judge promo or something like that. Uh, yeah. If they ever do make a foil version. Maybe we'll get this in Commander Legends and we'll have foil possibilities. And then it would be worth all the dollars. <laughs> Agitator Ant. It's cool looking art. Spellpower Phoenix. Surly Bajasar. We get into some reprints of Acroma's Vengeance, Astral Drift, Decree of Justice, Descend Upon the Sinful, Eternal Dragon. It's hard to believe that this card was a huge, huge player in Standard or Type 2 of many, many years ago. Hoof Prince of the Stag. Sun Titan. Yeah. Now, Wizards, since you put Sun Titan in here, I wonder if they put the uh, Burnished Heart. Because those two are just remarkable together, right? Uh, Curator of Mysteries. Drake Haven, that's pretty good. New Perspectives is always awesome. Uh, Nimble Obstructionist. Portal Mage. Is that a decent Chandra? Chandra Flamecaller? Huh. Uh, Tectonic Reformation. Esperia Supreme Judge. I kind of like that they sprinkle some of these older legends in here because not everybody has these. And, it, it you know, you can buy a deck and if you're just... I buy these, and y'all know I part them out. I mean, after each one of these videos I do, I sort them into the binder, and then I will, will commence to building all these decks. Well, after I open my Aquarius stuff. Uh, 
mercurial chemistry. There's a Niv Mizzet Firemind. There he is, the Locust God. God, what a great card. Abandoned Sarcophagus. Ooh, Fluctuator. Yeah. They started previewing all the cycling cards in this deck, and Fluctuator was kind of uh, later on, and everybody started specking on Fluctuator, and it got up to like $25, and then they... Which is just like, dude, y'all know it's in the deck, right? Here it is. Anyway, it generates power by harnessing the nature of possibility itself. <laughs> Psychosis Crawler, y'all know that that's one of my favorites, uh, especially in a dedicated card drawing deck like this. Exotic Orchard, always happy to see. Hostile Desert. Probably in there for the cycling deserts and things like that. Irrigated Farmland, Prairie Stream. Shiv and Reef, Sky Cloud Expanse, one, two, three mountains, one, two, three, four plains, a Bonder's Ornament, gosh, I love that card, uh, Arcane Signet, Azoria Signet, Boro Signet, Commander Sphere, Is It Signet, Soul Ring, the Rog and Crystal. See, those are just strict upgrades to the banners, too. Uh, I mean, cycling, too, just for no. Extra cost. Uh, Valiant Rescuer. Boon of Wish Giver. Neutralize. It, if you'll notice, these are Ikoria cards. These few here. They're all grouped together. Uh, Omnius Seas. Reconnaissance Mission. Rooting Moloch. Savvy Thundermane. Zenith Flare. Now, I, I don't exactly know. I haven't read Zenith Flare yet, but I, I've heard that this is a card in 60 card formats. Zenith Flare does X damage to any target, and you gain X life, where X is the number of cards with cycling in your graveyard. Oh, gosh. Wow. Yeah, this is power. I may... Ooh. Wonder if any of these 37 decks are going to be rotated around cycling. I bet they are now. Uh, Marshall, Psychic, and Shiny Impetus. Cast Out, I like Cast Out. Spirit Cairn, Hieroglyphic Illumination, Vizier of Tumbling Sands. Folks, that's a windfall. That's hot. Uh, Lightning Rift for Slice and Dice. Migratory Route, Root, however you want to say it. And that is it for that one. Um... I like it. Now, I think this deck is the highest value monetarily, adding all the cards up. Uh, I, I don't know. But it's just because of the Fierce Guardianship. That's it. Anyway, uh, I do appreciate y'all watching. Y'all let me know what you think, and uh, we will see y'all tomorrow.